in the last let's fix the no module named scikit-learn or sklearn error in Python. We will start with a sample.py script on the desktop and then move into a script in PyCharm and there's one extra step in PyCharm that we'll need to do. The first thing I want you to do for both cases though is open up a command prompt if you're in Windows, command line if you're in Mac, or a terminal if you're in Linux, and then just type Python. This is going to start a Python terminal where you can run Python commands. You should also be able to import sklearn. If you're getting this error, this means that scikit-learn, the package itself, is not installed on your system and thus you can't use it. So we need to install it. Let's exit this Python terminal and then do pip3 install scikit-learn, the full name here. If pip3 throws an error, you may want to try using just pip install scikit-learn. Wait for this to finish installing. You'll get a command prompt at the bottom when it's completed, just like that. Now, if we run this sample.py script, you'll see that we do not get an error. However, if we run our PyCharm script, we're still going to get this error. That's because PyCharm uses virtual environments. Go and click this terminal tab in the bottom of the PyCharm window, and you'll see that we're using a virtual environment. We need to install the package to the virtual environment. pip3 install scikit-learn, or pip. Pip is typically used for older versions of Python, and pip3 is the newer package manager for Python. Once that is installed, go back to the Run tab, and then click the Run button, and you should see the script run without any errors. That's all there is to it. If you're still receiving errors, you likely have a bigger problem going on with your operating system or your Python installation. I have a couple more videos in the description here that you should click on. Otherwise, try doing a full uninstall of Python and then reinstalling the latest version.